So one of the other great things about this data lab is they have this data rate calculator that's available uh, through the web browser here. And it lets us show a few things that it can do. If we're actually shooting, you'll notice we're in the digital camera tab. There's a film tab for those that even remember what film is and a storage tab, which I'll show you here in a moment. But we can choose our camera type. And they've got all these different digital uh, filmmaking cameras from the RED to the Phantoms and the Aries. But you know, let's just go with an EX1 for now, for example. Um, I can choose the frame rate that I'm shooting at. Let's say we're shooting 24 frames. I can decide how much running time that I'm uh, working with. So let's say we know that we're going to be in the field and we're planning to shoot about 10 hours of material. I will then hit enter and that tells me exactly how many frames we're going to be shooting and then I need about 146 gigabytes worth of storage. Well that's very helpful ahead of time before I even go out into the field. Now on the back side of that, the other function I really like about this site and this, uh, this useful uh, web tool is that if I go to the storage, what it allows me to do is after we've shot, I'm now inheriting, let's say, some ProRes footage from the field or, or even transcoding. So we're going to bring it into our edit system. I find my, my frame rate. I choose the resolution I'm going to work at. It already has the 10 hours put in because I, like we knew that's what we shot. And you notice that at that uh, codec, now we need 776 gigabytes. So this uh, is a great utility to really get you uh, set for how much material you may uh, be recording in the field and how much storage you might need to handle that material on the back end. Another wonderful thing about this is they have an iPhone app as well. And um, you know, so all those same functionalities can be done right out in the field and right on your iPhone. Um, and as we go through this, um, I'm going to be pointing out a number of uh, web tools that have um, mobile components as well. Dependent Films, and they have a uh, thing called Tools and Utilities for Filmmakers. And on this, there are script formatting uh, tools like uh, templates you can put into Word for your script. Um, they have in various Acrobat PDF formats, editing logs, and camera shot lists, and call sheets, and location releases. Um, I mean, so many great tools. As I scroll down, you'll notice they've got storyboarding plugins, um, you know, location contracts, really a lot of, of incredibly handy tools that are made available for us for free right here on the web and, um, and accessible. So we've looked at some of these uh, overview tools and, and sites that uh, kind of give us a basic understanding of some of the terms, the workflows, and a number of other uh, helpful tools to support our basic understanding of this digital filmmaking. So let's move on to some you know, other great to know sites. And we're going to do that in the order of modeling the filmmaking workflow process. We're going to start with some pre-production tools like script writing and storyboarding. And then we'll get into some production tools and post and delivery and exhibition. And along the way, we'll look at a few other beneficial sites as well. Keltex.com is not only an amazing script writing tool, it also is really a uh, all-in-one media pre-production system. And best of all, it's free, which is amazing when you see just how many features it contains. I mean, there's a few added features that we're going to go through here uh, that are subscription-based, but the bulk of the services from the site are at no cost, and even the ones that are a little bit, they're, they're minimal cost. So I can download the software. That's really the only piece that uh, you would need to really install. Um, but the, it lives still within this Keltex site. You're actually creating something, and I'm going to jump around a little bit, but um, if I go to the studio, studio is a feature that you can add. It's a very small fee. It's $4.99 a month. It gives you up to five users, but this allows you to actually allow, um, have that, that Keltex script on their site. You can sync it between iPads and iPhones. You can collaborate with other people in real time, and not just with your script. If I come back here uh, to the desktop features, well, right off the bat, you see that the script formatting can happen for films, for audiovisual, for theater. Um, I mean, all these different formats, even a comic book. 